Hello and welcome to this video in the Lockdown Learning Series where we're going to take a look at importing audio into the Loop Browser. So in a previous video you'd seen how to import it directly into your project via file import an audio file. But today we're going to take a look at how you can import audio admittedly somewhat imperfectly into the Loop Browser. So this it means that it's available to you all the time. You can do some of the tricks you don't you've seen with built-in content, so Keybase can automatically set the tempo, etc. But it takes a bit of work, unfortunately, as you'll see. But if you're going to be using the same samples repeatedly, this is probably a good way to go. So I'm going to go up to Media and Media Bay, not Loop Browser, but Media Bay, or hit F5 on your keyboard, and here you see a sort of expanded version of the Loop Browser. And in here, we're going to add the folder that our samples in question are. So you've got on the left, you've got the file browser. If it doesn't appear, you can turn this on or off with that. So you can see now it's off. And then back on again. So by default, it should be on. But if you've got limited screen space, you may want to turn it off at some point. And what you need to do under the this computer area you need to find the folder where your samples are so on my computer they're under music and then under samples yeah they may be somewhere else on a pc this would look similar but you'd have your drives have c drive s drive whatever you know whatever hard drives you've got go and find where that is probably under your user folder if you've put it in music etc but i'm gonna just expand this one because this is the sample loops in question. And then when we tick this, they will get scanned. Red means it's scanning. Yellow means it's to be scanned. And then when it's done, they all go white. So now we can see all of those samples we were looking at in the previous video have now appeared. But what's immediately apparent is that all of the other information is not present. So just going to make these columns a little narrower so you can see what's going on. And we can see that the tempo has not been detected on most of them. Okay, so we see under here, if I tick on samples, so we see just these samples here, we can see that the tempo of a few of them have been detected. So that one's been detected, etc. But most of them haven't. So that means all of the, the, the tricks we use with it, Keybase automatically changing the tempo of the sample to fit your song won't work. You can add these in. So if they're going to be something you use a lot, I would add them in because it takes a few minutes. So for instance here, this guitar loop. I'm just going to stop that. And I'm going to edit the tempo just by entering it here. So you just double click there and then I'm going to type in 105. And that one, I'm going to put in the tempo of 80 and so on. So you can do that. We can put in other information. So for instance, we've got family name here. So we see we've got all these options you can put in should you want to do that. Yeah, so you can put in information, other information about them. Or you could even add your own okay so for instance if we select all of these so what i've done is just done command a or control a on a pc okay and then family name i'm going to just put r loops as family name okay so then they are all categorized under that family name which means that they'll be findable so you could you could do that as say unfortunately this turns into a bit of a sort of librarian fest which can be a bit boring once you've done that, edited whatever you want to do, then you are free to change pretty much anything you want about these. So you can you can edit as much of these as you want, put in tempos, etc., that kind of thing. But once they are done, then they will now be available in the loop browser with that information you've put in. So let's see that happening. So here we are in the loop browser, and if we look for our loops we can see that the family name of our loops has appeared. So all of those appear because we put that in on all of them. If we look for none of that, so I'm just going to clear that by 
clearing that there and then go back to audio files here so we're only going to see audio files if we go by tempo we can find our 105 bpm guitar so there's that guitar loop etc so you can see the information you put in gets imported and it means cubase will follow it exactly i definitely get that this is not as good as things like ableton this is the tempo detection etc is definitely something cubase needs to work on as you'll find you'll import these kind of things and then cubase will misread the tempo and you'll need to time stretch them and, and put the tempo in automatically but it's not the end of the world it's just a bit of a pain sometimes but once you've done that and you've put that information in, you'll be able to use these samples in exactly the same way you do with all this Steinberg provided content. And that can mean all of your working can be really quick. So spending half an hour just, just naming and, and categorizing a, a sample pack that you're going to use a lot will make life much easier. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.